You want some water, too? <laughs> You're silly! Fish are already in the water, so they don't need to drink. Some fish do drink water, and some don't. Do you want to find out why? Yeah! <laughs> Let knowledge click! Do fish drink? It depends where they live. Salt water or fresh. <laughs> oh! Yeah! For fish that live in the ocean, the water is super salty. More salty than the fish body. So the water inside the fish try to live and go out through its skin and grills. If the fish didn't do anything, it would dry out. So, ocean fish drink sea water all the time to stay hydrated. The sea water is salty, so their gills and kidneys have to work hard to push the extra salt out. Fresh water fish are the opposite. River and lake water has less salt than their bodies, so water keeps sneaking in through their skin and gills. They don't drink actually. They need to get rid of extra water. Their kidneys are always busy. Now, let's try putting each fish back into the right habitat. Blowfish. Catfish. Dad and I once caught one at the lake. <laughs> Clownfish. I know this one. It lives in the sea. Oh, yeah! wow. Well done. I believe you learned some facts about fish today. Oh. That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. Your cat doesn't like water. Oh. Do you know why most cats are afraid of water? Let knowledge click! Ancient cats lived in a dry places with little water, and they learned to hunt without needing to swim. Just like their ancestor, cats today aren't used to being in water. A cat's fur is super soft and light. When it gets red, the fur becomes heavy and sticky, making it harder for them to move around. When their paws aren't touching the ground, cats lose control of their movements, which make them scared. When they're bathed, the cat's natural scent disappears. They immediately start licking themselves to restore that familiar smell. So how can I keep my cat clean? <laughs> Brush their fur to remove loose hair and dirt. Gently wipe their fur with a soft <laughs> towel so your kitty won't get scared. Clean the litter box every day. If your cat is really dirty, ask an adult to help give it a bath. Kids, do you know why giraffes have such long neck? Let knowledge click! Mm. First, we need to know where giraffes wow. live. Oh. Wow. Giraffes live in a grassland and open woodlands of Africa, where there are lots of tall trees like acacia trees. A famous theory says that giraffes long ago didn't have long necks like they do today. Animals that were shorter could only eat low leaves, so they had to compete for food. 
Giraffes had to stretch their necks to reach higher leaves over many generations. Their necks slowly got longer until they became the giraffes we see today. The giraffe's long neck is also linked to a fun behavior called necking. Necking is when the male giraffes use the long necks to strike each other to assert their dominance. They swing their necks at each other until one gives up. So having a longer, thicker neck means a better chance of winning. I got it! Oh. Ooh, I'm so thirsty! Oh! <laughs> mm. Oh. Mm. So salty! Uh. 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 Oh. I'm sorry! Mm. Sea water isn't for drinking, dear! Why is it so salty? Did someone put salt in it? Mm. I'll tell you why! Let knowledge click! When water falls to the ground, as it flows, it wears away rocks and soil. Some chemical reactions also happen when rain touches the rocks, creating minerals. These mineral salts then flow into rivers, and from there, they travel all the way to the sea. The salt stays in the sea because the water doesn't flow away. Then the sea water evaporates up into the sky, but the salt stays behind. Little by little, more and more salt is left, and that's why the sea is salty. Hmm. Wow! <laughs> There's another reason the sea also gets salt from underwater volcanoes deep beneath the ocean. There are thousands of volcanoes working under the ocean. When sea water slips through cracks and meets the hot lava, it picks up more salts and minerals, then flows back into the sea. Wow! That's why oh. sea water is too salty to drink. But it still has many other great uses. Hmm. You can swim and play in the sea. Some things in sea water are even good for your skin. People also make salts from sea water. The same kind of salt your mom uses to cook ah. yummy food for you. I got it! Next time, I'll bring fresh water to mm. drink. But why does it rain? I'll tell you why. Let knowledge clean! When it's sunny, the heat makes water from rivers and lakes evaporate. That means it's turned into tiny water drops and go up into the sky. As the drops go higher, they meet cold air. Then they stick together and make clouds. When the clouds get too heavy, they can hold the water anymore. The drops fall down to the ground. That's called rain. Some of the rain goes into the ground and becomes underground water. That's called the water cycle. But how can we know when it's going to rain? When the water drops in the cloud gather together, they block the sunlight. That's why the clouds look darker. It's like thin glass is clear, but thick glass looks dark. Clouds work the same way. Oh, so mm. the darker the clouds, the more it's going mm -hmm. to rain? Exactly. Dark clouds are a warning. Big rain is coming. Run inside or bring a raincoat or umbrella if you need to go out. We got it! Mm. Discover everything around mm -hmm. us on Wolfu Explore Channel.